Hey guys, I'm Allison and I'm here in the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen and today we are taking our favorite ice cream maker for a test drive. It's summertime, which means ice cream. And homemade ice cream is super easy to make and you should be doing it, but only if you have a good ice cream maker. After putting a bunch of other models to the test, we landed on our favorite, which is the Rebel Smart Scoop. At $400, the price tag is a little steep, but totally worth it if making ice cream is your game. So now comes the fun part, we're gonna make some ice cream. I've got my base all ready to go. We're making coffee ice cream today because it's my favorite. We're gonna turn the machine on. Another great feature is that there's a pre-cool setting. The chamber will actually start chilling, so by the time you're pouring your ice cream in, it's as cold as it could possibly be, giving you a little bit of a head start. It's built using a compressor, which means you have no bowls to freeze, so if you're like, I want ice cream right now, you can do it. All right, so my ice cream base is in here, and now all I'm gonna do is hit start. And then I'm going to adjust it to the ice cream setting. It's really easy to use and the buttons are super intuitive. Another great thing is that there's three settings within each. So if you like your ice cream a little bit on the firmer side or a little bit on the softer side, there's a setting for that too. Not only does the clear lid allow you to peek in, but the display right here will also show you your progress. It's been about 50 minutes and our ice cream is looking awesome. Oftentimes when you're making your own ice cream at home, the texture can be gritty or a little bit icy, but with this machine, it actually comes out super creamy and closest to anything that you're gonna find in the store. So now, if you were so inclined, would be the perfect opportunity to add a mix in. Because this is coffee ice cream, we are going to make it a chocolate coffee number by drizzling a little bit of melted chocolate. You can throw in fruit, you can add chopped nuts, the list goes on. So our ice cream is done. I'm gonna turn the machine off and I'm gonna remove the entire plastic lid. At a little over a quart and a half, it holds the perfect amount of ice cream. And this is a super fun feature. You can actually just take all of the ice cream out like this. You don't have to go digging around for it inside the machine. It makes it super easy to remove. Awesome, so now all of our ice cream is out of our container. When it's done, you can eat it. It's not hard to scoop, it's perfect. Another testament to how awesome this machine is, is that when we were doing our test drive, we tested batch after batch after batch. The ice cream came out the same every time. Perfect, creamy, awesome. So you don't want to drop $400 on an ice cream maker. You don't have the counter space. We get it. Another great option is the Cuisinart Pure Indulgent. It is a cute little countertop unit. The only thing is that you have to remember to freeze the bowl overnight before you get started. To find this, plus more of our favorite ice cream recipes and our favorite appliances, tools, and gadgets, head to bonappetit.com slash test drive. Ice cream, reserved.